Hey everyone, it's Phil from Ash and Leather. And hopefully you didn't miss me too much, but I've been sick the last couple days, so I missed out on all the shipments that went on Friday, but I wanted to come back in today. I'm still not 100% here. I can't wait to show you all the stuff that's shipping out today. And to start it off, I wanted to show you a little bit of a difference between the raw shell cordovan, which is this giant fox I have here, versus just the regular natural shell. And then a bunch of other things that we're shipping out today. But before that, I wanted to mention that we've hit a recent milestone on our Instagram page. I think we're hitting, we just hit 20,000 followers over there on Instagram. So if you're not following us on Instagram, uh, you probably are if you're checking out these videos. But you want to check out our Instagram page as well because we're going to be doing a little celebration there. Similar to how we did on YouTube with the 1,000 sub giveaway, we're going to be doing a 20,000 follower giveaway over there on Instagram. Everybody in the shop here has picked out a special item that's going to be included in that giveaway. So definitely want to stay tuned over there on Instagram. We also got a bunch of great photos and videos and all that good stuff. But on with some of the stuff here that we're shipping out today. And I wanted to show you the difference between the raw shell cordovan and the natural shell. And the biggest difference to me is the luster. If you take a look at the raw shell, it starts off pretty dull. It's got like a subtle sheen to it. But the natural shell in my hand here, you can see it has much more of like a mirror-like finish. And also I wanted to give you another, here's a, another raw shell here. So we've got two raw shells and one regular shell. And what's cool about the raw is you sort of see all the random variation in there that I really like. And what's also super great is the way that this wears in and ages over time is much more dramatic than any other leather that I've seen. So it's not only the luster that is significantly different, but also the way that this will patina is slightly different. So we start to see both of these change color very dramatically. In fact, here's a raw shell cordovan fat herbie that I wore for about a year. You can really see how much darker and more golden it's become. But what's really special about it is that luster that has developed. And for me, I just like seeing that dramatic difference of natural wear over time where it starts off kind of dull, and then the more you wear it, the more glassy and smooth and polished it looks. I just think the raw shell is super special for that reason. If you want something that's gonna age with your style over time, I think the raw is the way to go. If you want to start off a little bit more polished, a little bit more finished, the natural shell is also really nice. This will develop to look very similar, but it's just a little less dramatic than the raw shells. So we got a really good AB example here. This is a natural shell cordovan, Giant the Fox, with our custom horsehide interior. This is a color called Mock, which is a light tan shade. And then we have the counterpart here, the raw shell cordovan, also with that Mock interior. Very cool. Two of the same styles with just two different raw shell, or two different natural shell uh, versions on the outside. And one more raw shell Giant the Fox today. This one is super special with a color eight reverse interior. This one is just gonna wear in incredibly and start to look kind of like my Herbie that I was mentioning. Really like the golden and darker tones that are starting to come out of this. And of course that bright shiny luster. And we've got a couple valet trays going out today. And this is a really nice piece of natural chrome Excel. Nice taupe color. We use these valet trays all over the place. I think they're really great. And here I've got another really neat valet tray. This one is in the color eight chrome Excel. That same rich, waxy, and oily feel that we expect from all the Chrome Excels, but this one has that classic dark brown burgundy color of the Color 8. It's very similar to the Color 8 Shell Cordovan, but on the Chrome Excel leather. Up next here, I've got a really nice Garnet Shell Cordovan Frank the Enforcer. This is our revised Frank the Enforcer pattern that we changed back in October or so last year to make it a little wider and a little taller to more easily accommodate cash on the middle slot right here, the larger slot. So here's something really neat. I have three different Fat Herbies here and they're three different variations. We go from our standard color number four shell cordovan here where you get color four on the outside as well as color four on the inside. But then I've got a color four with a reverse interior. And lastly, there's the color four double reverse. So you get shell and reverse shell on the inside and outside. So these are all three different variations that we do on our Fat Herbie. Uh, and we actually are sold out of most of these right now. These Two of these were special limited runs. Uh, so if you ordered these, yours are going out today. 
So here's another really cool Fet Herbie. And the Fet Herbie, by the way, is the wallet that I choose to wear every day. I just think it's the best for the back pocket kind of guy. And this one is in that really now famous natural chrome Excel. I think people like the uh, light taupe shade of this with that really distinct pull-up character right down the spine here. So here's another super sleek Fet Herbie in black shell cordovan. I've been really into the sleekness of the black shells recently. Just sort of makes like all the curves look really neat. Up next here, we're on to the Johnny the Fox in black marble shell cordovan. And I really like the black marble because it ranges from this light orangey tan all the way back to sort of a dark green and everything in between. Just the random uniqueness of all the black marble shells are super cool. And this one has our custom black horsehide latigo interior that makes for a very thin uh, Giant of the Fox here. Here's another really good looking Giant of the Fox in natural chrome Excel, that very popular chrome Excel color. You see this uh, color on all sorts of different boots from places like Alden and Allen Edmonds and Thursday Boot has a, a few different styles in this natural chrome Excel color. Now here's another really good opportunity for a demo. This is the last black Chrome Excel Giant of the Fox I have. And I have a black Dublin Giant of the Fox here that is replacing our Chrome Excel for the black leathers. And I really like the black Dublin. I think it's the best black leather, which is why I've replaced it for all our black Giant of the Foxes. Um, I just think it's better. So I made the choice to uh, sort of replace all the chrome excel even though the chrome excel is super nice i just think the dublin is a little bit more interesting has a lot more natural grain character so if you look closely at these two wallets you can really see that the black dublin has a lot more natural grain character where the black chrome excel here is much more smooth and polished they're both very nice but i've been gravitating recently uh, more towards the natural character of the black dublin i just think it's the best black leather around and I have a couple Tony the Ants here to show you today. This one is in, again, that Dublin leather, but this is English tan Dublin. I'm a big, big fan of that grain character. You can see all sorts of random natural variation in there. And the cool thing about Dublin, too, is the more you wear this, the better it's going to get. And last up today, this is an ultraviolet shell cord of in Tony the Ant, but this one has a really beautiful reverse interior. On the ultraviolet reverse, you get these really cool like pinkish purple uh, dye stains that I think is just really nice. Uh, so congratulations to whom, whomever picked up this one. I think this is a great looking Tony the Ant. But thanks so, so much for checking out all the great stuff today. Um, hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better tomorrow uh, so I can be a little bit more energetic for this video. But I hope you learned a little bit about the difference from these raw shells compared to the natural shell. I think that the difference is there. Um, but what's kind of weird about it is the more you wear it, the more similar both of these will look. So my general advice is if you're looking for something that will dram have a dramatic patina and a potential to patina the most, I suggest the raw shell. If you want something that's going to start off a little bit more polished and shiny, I think the natural is also really nice. But again, if you wear them for a long time, they're both roughly going to look the same, which is kind of like this uh, Fat Herbie I have here that's been worn for about a year, a little over a year. So thanks again for checking out all the great stuff today. I thought one of the standouts was this black marbled fox here. Uh, and then, the th of course, the three different versions of the color number four Fat Herbies. So if you have any questions or if there's anything else I can show you, I'd be glad to uh, make a little video about it. But thanks again for checking us out. Don't forget to sign up uh, and follow us on Instagram for that giveaway that's going to be going on there. You're definitely not, not going to want to miss that. But uh, hopefully everybody's staying healthy out there, and I'll see you again tomorrow.